What's up guys? I'm Matt Haywood. I'm an application engineer with Fox. And today we're out here giving you a closer look at the new Forerunner internal bypass factory race kit. Let's get into it. So you'll notice these shocks look a lot like our Performance Elite series, and that's because they share a lot of parts. So you can see the Resi, the DSC, the Resi bracket, the outer body, even the spring, it all is shared with the Performance Elite series. Some of the key differences are when you look a little closer, that bearing cap is different, and that's your first hint that the guts of this shock are completely different from a Performance Elite. The main reason you'd pick factory race shocks over something like a Performance Elite is the position sensitivity that the factory race offers with the internal bypass technology. What that means is that as the shock strokes through travel, you're gonna get different amounts of damping force at different positions as you're hitting bumps and stuff. So you're gonna get way more bottom out and top out resistance for when you're trying to drive maybe higher speed stuff. Say you're out here in the desert and you're driving through some whoops, some bigger terrain, they're gonna offer way more bottom out resistance and provide a much more comfortable ride. This truck's set up with our stock length, stock ride height rear shock, but we also offer an extended rear shock for if you have say a two to three inch rear lift spring. Uh, and that's gonna be for if, if you have that lift spring back there, if you're carrying a lot more weight, uh, that extended length also has a little bit more travel, um, but it also requires extended brake lines, extended sway bar lengths, and those taller springs. Ride height plays a really big role when you're dealing with any type of bypass shock. And so we've set up the bypass zones on these internal bypasses for about a two to three inch lift. We did our tuning at two and a half inches of front lift. And the reason for that is when you lift these IFS trucks too tall, they run out of droop travel from ride height. And so you start running into the opposite issue of a bottom out where you go over a whoop, you go over some kind of feature and the suspension doesn't have enough travel to fully follow the feature down and you end up hearing a clunk and the front of the vehicle gets tugged over that feature instead of a nice smooth transition as the suspension can follow that feature down and properly top out. The factory race kit is gonna be really what you want if you're looking to drive a little bit faster. Um, if you're trying to go out here in the desert and you know drive faster roads, if you're trying to drive fire roads a little bit faster, the factory race kit is really gonna be for you to provide that extra bottom out and top out resistance to really hit stuff harder. Thanks for following along guys. Visit ridefox.com if you wanna learn even more and hope to see you out on the trail.